Welcome back everybody, it's OG. Today I've built a biplane for you. My thanks to Step Zeus, who commented on my mini plane video that next I should build a biplane. Equal thanks to Zeitgeist Zebra, who noted that I had oxidizer left in my fuel tank, adding extra weight to the mini plane. Sorry, my bad. Thank you, both of you gentlemen. So here's the biplane. The wings are a little stubbier, shorter, and otherwise it's pretty much the same as the mini plane. Unfortunately, it doesn't have so much control since I now shortened the wings, but I didn't want to give it too much lift. <laughs> yeah, that was the first flight of the biplane. But failure does not scare Bob Kerman. So we try again at full thrust with predictable results and then he started spinning down the runway and I got excited because I thought he might be doing what Val was doing in the flying bedstead video where she did endless somersaults until she left the game. If you haven't seen that one, check it out. Bob tries again because he's courageous. Bob knows no fear. Or he's stupid, or drunk, or something. Come on, Bob. You can do it. Fly, little plane, fly. Yes, yes, the biplane works. The smallest biplane you can make. Well, the smallest one I can make. If you can make a smaller one, go for it. Good luck. I wanted to put struts between those wings to make it look a little more biplane authentic, but that would have added weight. I like that we now have a thrust readout for jet engines. Thank you, devs. You guys did very well in the last patch. Uh, the thing I'm most happy about is that the clouds lines have almost all gone and the clouds look great now. Thanks guys, I really needed that. The thing I hate the most is that my wings still fall off big planes. Okay, next up, fix the wing falling off thing. There you go, just a few lines, just a few up close. But in general, the clouds are looking good. I did not improve the fuel tank on this plane, so it still has a pathetic amount of fuel. Just enough to fly around the base area. Come on, Bob, show us what this little jet can do. I mean, it's not slow. That might be the tiniest little engine in the game, but it's also the tiniest little plane in the game. Okay, the second tiniest, because this is the biplane version. Look at that thrust to weight ratio. Look at that powerful climb. Whoosh. Hey, it's like Chuck Yeager in a Starfighter. It's Bob in his miniature biplane. Oh, except he's run out of thrust. Come on, Bob, you can do it. Bob, Bob, don't let Chuck down. Okay, we have no fuel left. So it's that good old plummeting back to Kerbin feeling. I almost hit Earth. And now what you want is enough runway in which to land. So I thought I'll go for the side of the runway which is closest and then I will turn around and then try and land long ways along the runway. But because this is KSP2 and because this is a horribly unmaneuverable little plane which is too heavy on the top and its wings are too short, things did not work out as planned. But I'm getting ahead of myself. You'll see what I mean very shortly. Okay, Bob. Bring it in for that landing as planned. It doesn't want to go up very fast. Pitch up, pitch up, pitch up plane, pitch up. It's not pitching up. Bob. Love you, buddy. Cheers. All right, so the biplane didn't work so well. That's okay. It was a good idea. The problem was my my design, not the suggestion. So I had to come up with something else. And what do you do when your biplane doesn't work because the wings are too short and you've got too many wings? Well, if you're me, you double down. And you go for broke. Meet the miniature triplane. And for this, I had to call in the big guns. Jeb himself. 
is flying the triplane. Go, Jeb. Not so fast, Jeb. You started taking off before we lowered the thrust enough. Oh my word. What? Something's not quite right there. Well, the, the thrust is fine, but Jeb... Jeb, what have you done to your plane? You see, this is why I never let you fly. Did, did you take it out for a night on the town? W were you flying drunk? Oh my word, Jeb. Jeb! You get, you've even broken the camera controls. Well, thanks for the token wheel. I will remember the plane fondly by it. Okay, now I'm going to reload the plane and just fly properly. Oh my word, Jeb. That's another plane. That's another new plane. That one's even worse. What have you done to it? Good grief, Jebediah Kerman. I am grounding you. I am taking away your flight status. You are losing your wings for this. Can that thing even fly? Why you look so happy with yourself? Hey? Good grief, Jeb. Okay, let's see what she can do. Well, doesn't even really want to roll. Okay, it's taxiing. Not very far. And we, we, we can do donuts in it. Cool. Enter this one in the Fast and Furious contest. Great. I've made a donut machine. Donut triplane. Oh, and she drifts. No, and she. And that gives me an idea. If you've seen my underworld video, you'll know what I'm about to do. Kapow! And Jeb enters the underworld. If you haven't seen my underworld video, what is wrong with you? Go and watch it. Or watch my lathe video, where Val visits the lathe underworld. From the underworld, myself, Jeb, the triplane, and the biplane, thank you for watching. OG out.